Hello everybody, my name is that Joe Guy and welcome back to the Western Approach in Dragon Age Inquisition. So, sort of makes sense that we can access the mine from this area. Um, Harding, I suspect, set up quite a good camping spot, or given what she said, probably one of the only available camping spots. Hello? Hello! Trying it again. Doesn't feel like a combo detonator. Guys. Hmm, maybe I'm too quick. Was he asleep there or something? I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world. I've always relied on other people for combo detonators anyway. But in here, let's see what it says. Lightning Bolt now paralyzes other enemies near your main target. The more enemies affects the shorter of the duration. Uh, Lightning Bolt does more damage if there are other enemies nearby, and if there are enough close to the striking point, a wave of force will knock back all enemies except for the paralyzed. You know, with that in mind, actually rereading that, I'm going to change the upgrade on that to that one. There we go. Weird though, disconcerting. Can I move? Thank you. Yeah, so it makes sense that we can't. We're, we didn't park outside the front door of the mine. We're around the corner and then some. Hmm. Someone's be busy. Indeed. Let's find them, shall we? Could you just. Oh crap, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> in my rage at the auto attack not working, I accidentally killed a fennec fox. In a grisly fashion, I may add. Let's make the most of it. I don't think I've ever got fennec fangs before. Someone indeed has been busy. Caves here. Sand rock mine here. This looks like the way in. What's this? What is this? A ghoul's beard. Sounds like a fantasy curse. Codex unlock Ghoul's beard. Well, we'll do that in a second. What's this? Energize? Yes, I am a magic magician. I'm not one of those non-magic magicians. Can I fucking... <laughs> Alright, what's here? What's here? There's something to read or something like that? What's this? Research supplies. Property of Frederick of Seralt. University of Orlais. Nazaire's past research a camp. shipping label. Someone else is out in this wilderness, then. What Help. happened here? Nobody should be out here but Grey Wardens. Something's very wrong. What do you mean, Grey Wardens? Why are Grey Wardens out here? Hmm. Let's see, um... Inventory codes and ciphers, established camps in the Western Approach and support Inquisition activity in the region. Active fade risks have been spotted in the canyons. Hmm, Grey Wardens, why? That's weird. Like, a quick summary? Like, do I have a codex for this area yet? Places? Then... Here we go. Once these wastes were a land of plenty, can you believe it? The rain came north of... not really. The w rain came north of, over the Garmorden Peaks, turning the plains green and verdant for three months of the year. 800 years ago, that changed. During the second blight, Darkspawn spilled out an enormous crack in the earth, corrupting it with their fell blood, and it never recovered. Even after they were driven back underground, the Grey Wardens built adamant fortress to stand watch over that chasm. Okay, that's why they're out here. Uh, but eventually, even they abandoned it. Never mind, to the wind and the biting sand. While well, few of us eke out a living in this maker-forsaken place, do so knowing that any number of deaths await us. Darkspawn raids, dragons, bandits, not to mention starvation from the lack of water in game. Game is not too bad. It's even got fennec foxes. They're bloody everywhere. If we stay, it's because we know there are treasures buried in the bones of this place. Runes from the time uh, went to Winterworld, and even earlier. We pass tales around our campfires of the things we've uh, seen shredded in the dust storms. My favourites are the ones about relics that could restore the western approach once more, but I don't believe them. Truth be told, on nights when the wind is calm, I can stand over, I can stand on a hilltop and see for miles in the moonlight over a stark beauty of which no other Elysian can claim to know the equal. On those nights, I hope it will never change. That's nice. I'll check out resources. Cool, like it. Oh, Lazarite as well. Could have got it here. Well, I wasn't to know that. I was not to know. <sighs> right, what am I doing? Um, I think, given what we've been being told about Darkspawn, I actually want to get Cassandra's thing done. 
tell you what, I'm not gonna get Cassandra's thing done right now. I'm instead gonna go back and put her away and uh, instead take out Black Wall. Sup? Yeah, what, what have you got? Um, You're not immune to anything or anything like that. I just wonder why the paralysis lasts so long. Uh, so short. It's dead. Hmm. I suspect if the paralysis was um longer, I would be able to use it as the the detonator for a combo. But it's just it's just too short, and I wonder if that's just hyenas or if it's anything else. Was it really that long? I mean, can't you move your camp and follow us? You must have gotten it here somewhere somehow. Here we go, change party. Let's uh, keep Varric, we'll keep Blackwall and Vivienne. Of course, Vivienne and Blackwall. The busy buddies of my colleagues. Evidently, I offend you just by existing, Vivienne. What is it you want me to do? I'm sure I don't know, darling. Do you imagine I spend all my waking hours worrying about your self-improvement? Look, I wasn't trying to imply that you... My dear Blackwall, there's nothing you can do to make your order relevant to our present situation. You really must stop assuming everything is about you. It's unbecoming. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Blackwall does not bring out the best in her. In fact, they don't bring out the best in each other. Vivienne comes across as mean and Blackwall comes across as insecure, but... I see where he's coming from because Blackwall, like a lot of people, you know, I, at one point myself included, are very much like, that was a massive bird. <laughs> or, you know, forced perspective, look like a massive bird. It's just like, there's a problem, let's find a way to fix it. And that's the end of that, you know? Alright, so we can go this way or we can go down this way. What's this? This looks like a thing too. I want to explore this first. Nothing to examine. Old Chantry trail signs. The Chantry used these symbols long ago to mark trails to hidden locations. They are often mistaken by passerby as simple carvings on the rocks and Chantry trees. symbol out here. Odd. Here's what I'm worried about. Is this game... is unpolished in certain ways. Most of them are to do with the UI and stuff like that. But I'm worried... Oh, cool. Yes, very nice. I think I need one of those. Most of those are to do with the UI and the interface, which I appreciate is the same thing. Um, but what if there was meant to be some revelation in Cinderwood or whatever the hell, Crestwood, um, about the Wardens, which are now, we're now going to bypass here because they're in the area. It would be extremely sloppy of the game if that was the case. Maybe, maybe not. But we're probably going to find out because we're going to go down and investigate these kind of grey warden places where we can find these memories anyway. Warden activity. Strange. But let's head into the mines. There's two ways we can go in. One way we constructed that magic, the one way that way. Let's go in this way first. If there are enemies in here, they'd be less likely to suspect us to enter this way because it was all broken down and normal people can't lift wood and make ramps. That would just be silly. Lazarite, lovely. It's nice enough that I do want it. Is that a spider? Yeah, they look like spiders. <laughs> Joy. Um, let's see. Hello. Can I make it work now? Uh, not really. That's okay. I think I changed the upgrade in this as well, so... There we go. So it looks like the charge goes up to a maximum of 99. Opportunity. And how about this? Will this take me over there? Ow! There. Hey, I can do it multiple times. So it doesn't go down to a maximum of 50. It just so happened that that would be the number that I kept looking over and that it was. And I assure you that sentence makes sense. Paragon's Luster. Well, looks like Red Lurium there.
Mm hmm. The mushrooms and ribs, which look like the same thing. Loot a plenty. That spider back there in the corner can wait. This is a thing here too. Whoa! That was my mouse. You know, I'm not not functioning when that thing's just around the corner. On button. Ow! Cool. Maybe getting the hang of this to a certain extent. Or certainly feel like it's natural. Let's just destroy this before it corrupts our minds. Um, how do I destroy it? Varric, do you know how to destroy it? Is this your jam? My bad. Uh, can I just... Yeah, baby. That's satisfying. No from a Templar, Benedict, pull up stakes. All plans for the mine in the Western Approach are off. The Inquisition's on the move and headed your way. Dump all the bodies and relocate to the Empress de Leon. Julie noted, a lead to follow. Joyous. More materials. Whoever did this should pay. Agreed, Blackwell. I can't get it. Ah. Damn it. Who wrote this herb? Shit. I'm gonna sneeze. Now you'll never know whether I really sneeze because I'm muted. Um, let's see. Some deep mushrooms here. A chest up there, which is nice. Is there any way up there which I'm missing? Yes, I think there is. Hmm. Up here? Up here? Up here? Up here? And then up here? Yay! Lovely. Sense be damned not making a ladder up this way. It's just a video game. <laughs> that actually sounded like a bigger dick than it was meant to. It was intended playfully. Here we go, nice chest. I love this stuff. It's the meat and potatoes of RPGs, you know? Exploring dungeons, recovering treasure. I love the classics, I really do. Been hankering for some D&D recently. Got an adventure already. But that's another story to be told another time. Hello, sir? Don't think so, I know you're there. White Claw Raider. Where was it we saw them? I know they're there, but hold, 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 hold. I'm not getting lured into an ambush, thank you very much. I've got some Lazarite to farm. What was that? White Claw Mercenaries. Um, I think we heard about them in the note outside the camp, uh, the, the mine. Here's the canyons. Ooh, goodness me. Is that a damped fortress or something? Here's what looks like a dude over there. White Claw Raider. Hmm, oh, nobody likes raiders. That's for damn sure. Everybody can stop holding now. Keep the high ground. You'll die. I kind of hear them chatting, but I don't think it's too relevant to my life situation right now. God, what use is that paralysis? Like, is that my fault? Did I just... Let's see, paralysis, duration, two seconds per nearby enemy. Okay, okay. So it's, use it's more useful in groups. I'll bear that in mind. Marcus, when you're quite done breaking. Well, that's quite satisfying to see. All right, you. Carry me there. Damas, can be carried there. Whoop. Then, whoop.
I think I get some mana back for that. That was cool, right, guys? Well, I thought it was cool. Thanks, Ring Velvet. God, look at this view, man. Alright, where the hell am I? I sort of lost track of where I was going. Um, on the Chantry Trail, they appear to lead somewhere. <laughs> good, good. Well, everything leads somewhere. Uh, Primeval Red, Red Larium. You know what? Let's backtrack through that mine we just came from. I mean, that looks intriguing as all hell, but I don't want to miss out on Red Larium for Varric's case. Uh, besides, it looks like that mine was a bit of a dead end. Unless there's maybe... No, actually, no. Like, this is a nice wee passageway, but there doesn't appear to be another one coming out the other end. Or if there is, we'll find it from this way. It's not, not a big deal. Um, and I can use this to fast travel. God, you kick the neighbors out and then squatters move in. That's disappointing. Ow. You're not doing very much damage by that end point. What's this? Oh, hello. Maybe it ends at low health. It's okay. Some battle mage you are. Oh, fuck. They're all over the place. Ah! Uh, well, I need a barrier now. Hello. Oof. That was very pretty. We are maybe slightly struggling. Uh, but that's okay, we've got potions for days. So Vivian and me can both afford to have one without us having to go back to camp. Yes, unfortunate thing about Fate's step is it appears that it might take me into places that I'd rather not go, but it is very quick, which is nice. A bit of a cooldown, but... Uh, I think I upgraded it as well so that I get mana back whenever I pass through someone. I can also choose to do chill damage, which I might well do. Da. Why am I out here again? Oh yeah, yeah. I got it. Don't kill the hyena, please. We're they're paying that we're gonna have to, aren't we? Let's just try and ignore it if we can. What's this way? Oh, this looks long as well. I shall call this episode Exploring Some Mine. Well, here are the missing owners of those carts. Crikey, this is frightening. What is that thing in the middle? What have they made out of red lyrium? Holy crap, there's a mosaic piece. Some weird ass runes on the floor which look trap like. Some Paragon's Luster. Right, we may be at this for a while if we want to try and destroy everything in here. There's a lot of stuff which is hard to sort of even know what I'm looking at. I think this is the thing over there, isn't it? There we go. Right, Louis. Uh, S says get the Templars whatever they want, so no questions asked. So stop asking. They want refugees and travelers, we get them. Refugees and travelers. More slaves? The Venatori wanted slaves. The Templars just wanted delirium. But there's possibly something small that I'm missing there. Some small detail which makes sense of it. And oh dear. Maybe they just came upon some... Oh dear. That's pretty grisly. Right, what is this? Oh, look. They're growing it from dead people. Oh my god. We destroyed part of it in here. We don't need to destroy anything else. I mean, it's not on the map, so I guess not, but... I don't know how to get that ghoul's beard. Let's not worry about it. Okay. People are very imaginative when it comes to magic. As it should be, for the record. It's a tool. You use it in a variety of ways, but... Shit can get dark sometimes. Alright, what else is nearby? So on the Chantry Trail is over there. Um, and... 
What else is down here at the Western Approach? Wasn't there... Strachanology? No. Phaedra's clothes. I guess I did the kind of main thing. And now it's just a case of exploring other shit. There's this fortress up here. Which is very intriguing. Or all this down here. Draconology, Primeval Red William. Favourites first enchanter and memories of the Grey. It's a nice little package of activity. I think we should just do it. We saw the fortress over there and I'm not forgetting about it. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. Still trying for that combo. <laughs> We're not fighting too many groups of enemies, though. He's going crazy with the winter stuff. I must have winter stuff on one of your uh, one of your staffs. You know, I could uh, start rocking a winter staff on like a more permanent basis. Maybe that would help me like give me a small chance to freeze people that I could detonate the combo. Or I use the Titanicians Renewal and take Winter's Grasp on instead of Lightning Bolt. I thought Lightning Bolt would be cool, but I don't know. I'm yet to see its full usefulness, I reckon. Why is it getting so dusty over here? Oh yes, never follow the Fennec Fox. Oh, I see uh, an Oculus over there. That's good. So we kind of want to take a left this direction, but... Oh my goodness. Y yes, this feels ominous. Let's take a pass south in this direction. This is kind of roughly in the direction we want to go. But I don't trust it. Fortress over there. Hmm. Nazaire's Pass. Ah, come on. Sand is a... a bitch to traverse, for sure. Looks like somebody's left their pickaxe here. What a waste. But, this is certainly similar to a road. So therefore take advantage of it. Wow! This view, what was that over there? I saw you! Pop back into existence. Huh. Never mind then. Who are these guys? Uh, more White Claw Raiders. Let's see if, um... Yes, there's the, there's the combo. So I just need more than one enemy to be nearby and I can pull that off. It's not quite as explosive as the Winter's Grasp thing, but it's still pretty cool. Lovely. Oh, just face full of blood there. Lovely. <laughs> Very nice. Because I like lightning a little better for Marcus than I do the winter stuff. I don't know why. Ooh. This place is fascinating. It really is. I need to make sure I frame enough things so I can get some nice screenshots. I've heard a strange cow noise there, but I see a camp up ahead. Man, all of these just look like kind of claws coming across the landscape. You can totally tell this place was blighted once upon a time. Here's a fade rift over there, right? There's a lot of question marks around. I don't want to explore everywhere here, but I do want to kind of hit the companion quests. There's another Oculus. A decent enough place to camp, I suppose. You're right, Vivian. Thanks for your cheery attitude. Let's do it. Lovely supplies replenished. All right, get out of the way. What do you have? Nothing to report, sir. All right, thanks, anyway. See that me coming talking to you first? That's something I want to encourage. Oh, there's a, a ah because the question marks have cleared up now that I've got a camp in the area. Nice, because the scouts have been around. Well, there's a few things to do in this area. And we will embark on them in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. See you then. Ooh, horsey.